business owners and executives from around the valley. This is Business Leaders with Lance Cardoza. Good morning and thank you for watching Business Leaders. My name is Lance Cardoza. We're here in the studios at KMPH Fox 26. First of all, I'd like to thank Flooring Liquidators for making this episode possible. Every Tuesday morning, I bring you a different business leader right here on Business <laughs> Leaders. I have Kopi Sotaropoulos in studio. You can hear him giggling over uh, here. Well, you know, you're mentioning business leaders. I've worked in business, short order cook. I used to deliver the Fresno Bee, but uh, as a leader, uh, it's an honor to have that associated with my name, at least for this half hour. And to introduce you, yeah. and especially here, we're on KMPH Fox 26, yeah, uh, but anywhere on television yeah. to introduce you, it's like a, it's an oxymoron for me. It's like if the most recognizable face, and I've told you this before, in our valley is Kopi. Well, and thank everybody you. Thank you. talks about maybe the first time you walked into their school. Yeah. And yeah. you hear that often. Oh, and, quite uh, often. It's, very, yeah. it's, it's heartwarming, you know? Yeah. And, and it's humbling. Humbly. You've yeah. been since 1971. Yeah, oh yeah, I got in the business in 1971. I just finished San Francisco State. Got hired by Mr. Pappas uh, for Cane Page Fox 26 when they went on the air uh, October 11th, 1971. And I've been uh, hustling television ever since. And movies. And movies. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. And if you if you live under a rock and you don't know who Kopi <laughs> is, if you watch a great day here on KMPH Fox 26, you see Kopi's face in the morning and everybody remembers the 10-day forecast. Oh, yeah. And you've been doing that for years. Yeah, ever since uh, we started uh, on the news back in 1990 when I came back from L.A. And yeah. they hired me to be the weatherman. And um, here we are, you know, still... Uh, uh, weathering away, we you know the weather hasn't gotten to us. <laughs> so, Kopi, tell, let's talk about your early years of the story sure. yeah. of when you came to the United States sure, sure. and that journey with your family. Yeah. And how did how did it get to 1971 when you found yourself working in the business? Uh, and, and well, it's uh, you know it's a typical immigrant story. Uh, we're Greek, and uh, my mother and father, uh, and I was born in Greece, and we um, uh, my parents endured. You know, like a lot of people in Europe at that time, World War II and Greek uh, the Civil War in Greece. And we had an aunt, uh, my uh, dad's uh, sister and her husband lived here in Fresno. Mm -hmm. And uh, they brought us over as displaced persons. And uh, in a photo that we have. I uh, believe, yeah, it's the image of your yeah. family too. And this yeah. image is from Greece? Yes, it is. It's yeah. from the village, the home where uh, my, my father was born that my grandfather built in 1892. Now it's much bigger than this. Yeah. But uh, and which one are you? Here? My mother is in the center okay. with the dark dress. Uh, my aunt is to her right and other uh, cousins, all of my cousins there. And my dad is on the right side if we're looking at the screen like this. Yeah. And I'm in her lap kind of wrapped up, bundled up uh, in, in a blanket and who knows what else. And that's me, my mom, Anastasia, and my dad, Vasily. And, um, you know, they were farmers. My dad was a farmer with his brother. And this house, uh, like I said, was born in eight, I was born, the house was born and the wood grew <laughs> and, the and we fed it milk and oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah. Um, uh, it was built in 1898 wow. by my, gr my grandfather who was named Procopi. So oh. I was named after my grandfather Okay. okay. And uh, my son, Vasily, was named after my father, his grandfather. Yeah. And then our son, uh, that Vasily's son, rather, our Vasily's son and Crystal's son, uh, is named after me, after his grandfather. So it's a Greek tradition. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's popular in Europe. The European cultures yeah. do the same thing. It's not written in stone. And if you don't do it, you're out of the will type of thing. Yeah. You know, that I've heard of, you know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so, and that's how the, the, uh, the legacy continues. And it's wonderful. So you, you come over to the United States. You find yourself coming in Ellis Island? Yeah. Coming in the New Ellis York? Yep. And, yep. and how yep. did the journey happen yep. after that? Well, it was an 18, I believe from what my parents said, it was like an 18-day trip. You know, coming across the Atlantic through the Mediterranean, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, coming over to New York, and it was uh, uh, a ship um, uh, that brought us over. It was a, it was used before as just a cruise ship, mm -hmm. and uh, and then during the war, they used it as a ship to bring American troops over to Europe mm -hmm. to fight. They would bring them over, they would go back. Bring them over, they would go back. back yeah. And uh, eventually, once the World War II stopped, it was uh, used to con to bring uh, immigrants and whatever else they had. And that's the ship we came over with to New York, and we took a train to uh, 
Chicago and uh, in San Francisco, mm -hmm. and uh, and then we took a train, a bus rather, to Fresno. I don't know if it was Greyhound or Greek Ground or yeah, whatever. Greyhound. You know, I don't know. But I was only. <laughs> but a it kid, was a bus. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and that's what you were us three, three and a half three years old. Three and a half years old. Okay. Home. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and that's how we ended up in Fresno, and uh, it, we were blessed that uh, they took the uh, the ability and uh, the care and love to bring us over to America. Yeah. because it's a land of opportunity. And, uh, and then and my dad worked for the railroad. My, okay. my uncle was, used to work for Southern Pacific as a, a section foreman, got him a job as a laborer. My dad was fly, almost 50 when he came over to America, so he was no spring chicken. Yeah. And uh, he worked there, and my mom worked at St. Agnes in the hospital, in the, clothe in the uh, kitchen, and also in the laundry many yeah. years. Uh, and, uh, and here we are. And, and here uh, you are. Yeah. So in 19, 1971, yeah. Yeah, it's 50 years celebration yeah. anniversary here at Camp PH Fox yeah. 26. But uh, Kobe, you, you worked in this business starting yeah. in 1971. Yeah. Yeah. But before that all started, and I think we have a photograph of yeah. the very first time you spoke in front of an audience. Yes, I did. Which is very common for you now. And, and, but, and I think this is the image this right is here. This photo. Uh, <laughs> gee, pick me out. Which guy is this? <laughs> but this is the uh, sixth grade talent show at Fremont Elementary here in Fresno, where I went to elementary school. And uh, I auditioned, I auditioned for uh, the MC, and uh, I got, uh, yeah, I can't sing, I can't dance, <laughs> you know, I can hardly memorize. And uh, so I was the, uh, they picked me to be the MC of the talent MC, show. so you just hosted it? Yeah, hosted that it. That was the beginning it, of it, a long career. Yeah, little did I know, but it was wonderful. And, you know, I, I, I was a loud mouth anyway, you know, kind of a ham. So, uh, uh, and there we are, that's the sixth grade talent show. The sixth grade yeah. talent show, and then so, you, you start off in 1971, and yeah. I don't think everybody knows, but Kopi uh, had a career on the silver screen, yeah. on the, they call it the tube. The tube, The yeah. tube, television, yeah. and yeah. then uh, came back to yeah. work in the business that you started on yeah. in 1971. Yeah. So we're yeah. gonna see that here in just a moment. Uh, but, um, and I, I can't say this enough, I'm very honored to have you on my well, program. Thank you for asking me, I'm honored, are you kidding? Yeah, and, and uh, you said business, uh, I'm not a business person, but you have an effect on business people, and we look up to you, and uh, mm -hmm. you you have been such a pleasant uh, experience. Any Anywhere you go, everybody yeah. says, yeah. he's such a nice, humble guy. And I know your son's sitting off and going, you yeah. don't know the real Kopi. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I guess but, the check didn't clear. Didn't clear. <laughs> But your son, great guy, he's going to come on in the third segment, yeah. so we'll be able to see Vasily. But uh, we'll be right back with more business leaders here in a moment. Kopi Sotaropoulos in studio, what a pleasure. And thank you for joining us every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. for Business Leaders right here on KMPH Fox 26. Don't go away. Welcome back to Business Leaders here on KMPH Fox 26. My name is Lance Cardoza, and I'm joined by Kopi Sotaropoulos. And uh, Kopi, if you were here in the first segment, you got to hear a little bit of Kopi's story on when he broke into uh, show, Hollywood. Showbiz. Yeah, showbiz. Yeah, you went sixth down. grade, sixth grade. We sixth started. grade. Yeah. You started, but it, yeah. was, it was the beginning of uh, an illustrious career of you didn't do just a bit part or a movie. Yeah. You did several yeah, different shows. Yeah, we shows. were very fortunate, yeah. you know, and uh, it was a dream. It was always something I wanted to do. And uh, as I tell kids in school, I say, you know, uh, if it's something you want to do, you know, if you really want to do it, get your education, uh, understand the ups and downs of what you're getting into, and then go for it. Don't uh, just jump into it, duh, it's going to be a lot of fun, yeah. you know, <laughs> uh, because you could uh, learn a terrible lesson. So uh, anyway, that's what I talk to kids about. If you yeah. got it, go for it so you have no regrets. I'm yeah. 74, and I have no regret about that. We did it. And that yeah. was it. But anyway, yeah. It yes, was, um, so 1971, yeah. you, you started your first show. Right, right here at Channel 26. 26. Uh, well, I was hired to write and produce commercials. You know, we didn't have news. Yeah. And, uh, and then we also started, a couple of years later, an uh, afternoon movie show called Dialing for Dollars. Okay. And where people will watch the movie, and then we spin, 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 and then they guess. Oh, there it is right here. There it is. Oh, my gosh. It's right. Oh, and Look the same jacket. Look at that. How and this, Hold on a second. this is the same jacket. <laughs> there you go. All right. Yeah. It's the same jacket, and it, it fits just almost, almost as good. You know, but I've been lifting weights, so yeah, it's been a little just... tight. You understand that. <laughs> so Dialing for Dollars. Yeah. Tell yeah. me about Dialing well, for Dollars. Well, it, it was a game show that we had uh, Monday through Friday for uh, two or three years. And it was very popular, 
and, and then it was time for it to go away, like a lot of things. But uh, that was a lot of fun. So it gave me uh, on the air every day, and we had a blast. We had a blast doing that. Wow. And then I was here about six years, and I'd been married, Elaine, and I married my wife in 1975. And I told her, you know, we got to go to Hollywood. I just, and I told her that before yeah. we got married. And she goes, okay, you know, newlywed and all Let's that Let's go, stuff. yeah. So what we did, we, um, uh, in 1960, uh, excuse me, 76, uh, I went up and told Mr. Pappas, who was kind enough to hire me, and I thank him. He gave me a start in this business, and yeah. I'll never regret it. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Harry. And um, so I said, you know, we're going to Hollywood, and we packed up our bags. We had about $1,000 between the two of us, and we went to Hollywood, found a little Hollywood apartment to uh, hang out in, to live in, and my wife got a job. I started taking acting classes, started doing extra work, you know, yeah. you know, $18 a day and a box lunch on a studio somewhere or out on location. Yeah. And uh, one, com one of the first ones I ever did was uh, the uh, Howard Hughes story with Tommy Lee Jones. Now, and what's interesting about this I'm in this photo right over there. My eyes are over like a spy. And uh, right, uh, right <laughs> there. Right. So uh, that I got on that, which was lucky, just lucky that I was there. And they took the shot and put it in the flyer here. But uh, the thing is, what's really interesting about this, uh, when I was uh, an extra, uh, there was a scene where uh, the principal and, uh, actress and the actor uh, were going to go divorce proceedings for Howard Hughes. She won divorce, you know, uh, Howard Hughes. Yeah. So they're going up. The, uh, this was in Pasadena. So they needed another person to be a reporter, you know, no lines or anything. So Charlie Ziarko, the AD, comes over and says, Copy, here's your notepad. No lines. Just write like you're writing down what they're saying as a reporter. I said, OK, Charlie. So here's three of us going up the steps of the courthouse in Pasadena. And as we're getting closer to the camera, I'm ready to pass it. And I'd written down a line. And I said, why are you divorcing Howard Hughes? Don't you love him anymore? And we go by the line. Cut. What? What do you mean you didn't have a mic on him? Put a mic on him. I want that line. The director. The director. <laughs> Jumped it's in. like, what? And I was, I'm not in the union. I'm not supposed to talk in these talk. movies. But for some reason, the good Lord said, open your mouth. You do it other times. Do it now. <laughs> do it now. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we said it. And they wanted to give me 50 bucks. And I said, you know, it's been a few years since I've been trying to get in the guild. If you could help me get in the guild, I'd appreciate it. And this is the Screen Actors Guild. Screen Actors Guild, yeah. 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 Uh, when they were not together, this, it was separate, the guild. Okay. So, um, so he went to the uh, director. They said, look, here's a, here's a note. Call the producer and set up an appointment. So they gave me that. Uh, I called up the, per the producer to go to his office in Studio City, MTM Productions in Studio City. And um, he's, uh, so I, I called up. I go over there, get into the elevator. Before it closed, it opened again, and this guy comes in with shorts, tattered shorts, and a little cute old lady. And the yeah. door closes, and I look over, and it's Paul Newman. Paul Newman. In the same elevator <laughs> with, me. well, let's put it this way. I was in the same elevator with Paul Newman. So uh, it yeah. was, you know, and then he got out, and I, what do you say to Paul Newman? Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that, that. So That's it was a surreal moment. Surreal for moment, one of those things that happen, business. and you never expect it. And people say, you're kidding me. Uh-uh. So anyway, so I go in and uh, Roger, I forget his last name, great guy, uh, you know, wrote a letter to the Screen Actors Guild, mm -hmm. said uh, we found an actor that will play this person because they got people that look like me, or not like yeah. me, but like the real people. So Kopi Sotaropoulos looks like so-and-so. So, -and -so. so uh, he uh, wrote the letter. I went to SAG, got in the Screen Actors Guild, got my $172 and got into SAG. Got into say, yeah. and it led to many other films. Yeah. So we have some images yeah. of some of the television shows yeah. and films that you're going to recognize. Yeah. This one here, this is Incredible, Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk, yeah. The television show yeah. Incredible yeah. Hulk, and yeah. there you are, Kopi. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was great. And uh, I got a, a, an agent, a friend of mine, a, a relative, had a coffee shop, a, a, a restaurant rather, in uh, Sonora, yeah. and he knew um, a famous actor, uh, uh, Herschel Bernardi, yeah. who is on television, Broadway. And he knew, uh, he knew him, so he gave me his number. He, he gave him my number. He called me. I called him up, and he gave me this person in L.A. to talk to. And we'll get to that uh, when we come back. Yeah, oh, wait and, a minute. we got a little more time. Yeah, yeah. look at and another image here. So you can see some of the stuff. Yeah. And you're going to recognize some of these. Oh, uh, yeah, Michael Landon. Michael Landon. Yeah, Highway yeah. to Heaven. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Look at that Michael. mustache there, yeah. Kobe. And uh, Mary Tyler Moore show. Yeah, Mary this, Tyler. Was, this was her variety show after she had her sitcom. Uh, they, they taped, uh, I think, 12 shows. They only ran, th only three survived the ratings, you know, which wow. is unfortunate. If they ran mine, who knows? But anyway, yeah. that's the way it goes. Here you are, Eddie yeah. Murphy. Yeah. There's Eddie Murphy right there and Kopi Sotaropoulos. We're going to talk about 
that career that you had and also coming back here and the career that we watched you here on Great Day awesome. and still watch you every, every uh, morning here on Thanks. Great Day. Don't go away. More to come with Business Leaders. My name is Lance Cardoza and you can go to businessleaders.tv and watch this episode and other episodes right here. We'll be right back with more. Don't go away. Welcome back to Business Leaders. This one's been a special one, Kopi Sotoropoulos. And you see this nice, good-looking young man over here, Vasily. And this is your son you were talking That's about. That's right, Vasily Sotoropoulos, yeah. and uh, a real estate agent, and, and, a, and a, a, a dad with uh, almost a newborn, a year old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. grandpa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm one. Yeah, 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 very cool. So I'm bringing you on the show. You're going to mm -hmm. be on my show next week yeah. and talk about your career and uh, growing up with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have plenty to talk about. We'll have plenty yeah. to talk about. <laughs> All right, I'll, don't worry, I'll send the check. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. During the pandemic, you did a cooking show yeah. from home Yes. with your wife. And yeah. I think your daughter was yeah. running the camera. Yeah, Anastasia, our yeah. daughter, was uh, the camera operator. Elaine, and it was just the yeah. iPhone. And my wife, Little Nellie, and I started a cooking show. They yeah. wanted us to do something because I had to stay home for about three months. Yeah. I could only mow the lawn so many times. There was yeah. only lawn, rather. There's only so many rooms I could paint in the house. Cleaning yeah. the gutters. Cleaning the we gutters. A week on gutters. Yeah, yeah. And man, she's like, "Don't get on that ladder. <laughs> get down from that ladder." <laughs> so, uh, so he, they said he well, knows how real that is. He's oh laughing. yeah, yeah, well, that's yeah. real. <laughs> so uh, we did a cooking show for about three months, oh, and gosh, uh, and Vasily awesome. was in a few of them, helped us out, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, every day we had a new recipe. And the thing is. And I mean, I, Elaine was the chef, not me, yeah. to be honest with you. I was the sous chef. Yes, dear. Yeah. Yes, dear. You yes, were the dear. gimmick. She yeah. was the one bringing she the, was the bringing talent. The talent. And, yeah. and you know, even now, I, well, I'm out at a grocery store somewhere, yeah. and they say, you know, we love that cooking show with your wife. She did a great job. They don't say anything about me. <laughs> not a word. No, you, no, no. You were there. <laughs> I was there, you know. Yeah. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. But we had so much fun, and we all gained a few pounds. Yeah, no, a few pounds. But the problem was, if you had something that you're cooking that was, uh, you know, had to, it takes four hours, you yeah. had to redo it the same day, yeah. you know, the day before, rather. So you, after you put the ingredients in, stick it in the oven, voila, here it is. There done. it is. So oh. that was, it was a lot of work. But it was a whole family operation. You Pretty much. And, but our daughter, production. Anastasia, was our photographer, our camera person. Yeah. And she did a great job. God bless you. Love you, kiddo. Love uh, you. Also, before the break, yeah. we were talking about your career. Silver screen, yeah. on the tube. You did several shows. I saw you on Three is Company. Yeah. Uh, Incredible Hulk. Just before that, we had Eddie Murphy. Eddie yeah. Murphy, and we could show that image again. This yeah. is one of the, the last films you this, did before you came back. This was the last show we did before uh, we had made the decision to come back to Fresno. And uh, it was wonderful. Uh, I auditioned for the bar to the bartender, but Eddie wasn't there for the audition. I was just to a camera and the casting director. Yeah. They'd do it like this, do it like this, do it like that. Bam, they called up the next day, you got it. Yeah. Boom, I get to work with Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, okay. yeah. So, cool. uh, so it was a great scene. We filmed at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel okay. downtown where the lobby is. They turned that into a bar. Yeah. And I, uh, you know what kind of bar it was. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. so it took us, we, we came in Friday morning at 8, finished Saturday morning at 4 for the whole scene. Mm -hmm. A lot of costume changes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I got to work with Eddie. Our scene took about four hours yeah. to do. And great guy, funny easy to get along with, you know, it's just made you feel so good. And, and I'm working with Eddie Murphy, you working with Eddie Murphy. And people at home are watching this going, I had no idea. I had no idea. Go into IMDb yeah. and you'll see the career yeah. that you set up. If you dream yeah. and you want to do it, you yeah. put in the hard work, do it. you yeah. can do if it. Got, if you got a dream, do it because if you don't, uh, you'll regret it later. And I'm not regretting it because I'm, I'm 74 years young and uh, I don't, I did it. Yeah. So I can look back and say, that's what I did. Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, yeah. That was another image with Mary Tyler yeah. Moore. You had talked to Mary Tyler Moore, yeah. or you probably watched her on television, yeah. and, and here I, you are. Yeah. I got to work with David Letterman, show. Michael Keaton, Swoozie Kurtz on, with, uh, on the Mary Tyler Moore show. They were all part of her cast. You know, yeah. we did we did sit we did segments. You know, humorous segments. You know, I was the chef right there in her kitchen, and she made me take the chicken out of the chicken. Uh, pan out of the out of the oven and uh, you know put it in the sink and uh, my fingers are burning and it, was, yeah. and it was fun we had so much fun with that scene and That's other fun. scenes we did she's a great lady well, a lot of people was. are watching the show and they're yeah. wanting to hear Vasily tell a story what it's like growing up with a father Kopi yeah you yeah. know what? icon of the valley yeah I guess so but when you're a kid you don't really realize it yeah I think he started on the air when I was about nine years old 
second grade. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, at that age, it was just, oh, your dad has this so job and going this to is what he's going to do. And yeah. just like anyone else might have a job, yeah. it just seemed mm -hmm. very normal from yeah. the beginning, yeah. And I'm sure when people hear your last name, they all, they say something. Sometimes, often, sometimes <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes they can't read it or embarrassed to you yeah, know, they butcher can't it. it out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're used to it. Yeah. 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 We, it, it Give it a shot. Yeah. It happens every day. But. Well, it's your name, Kopi, is it's, it's really. Procopios. Vasilios Soderopoulos. Soderopoulos. And that's, there's that's Vasilios. came out of the name. Strong. Yeah. That's a mouthful. Yeah. 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 That is a, so Kopi for short. Yeah. Kopi for short. Yeah. And, and, and the Greek culture carries on the name. Vasily was yeah. your father's name. That's correct. correct. So correct. it's out of a respect of, of years, uh, yeah. you can pass the name down. Yeah. And, and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yes. And uh, I'm, I'm very humble and excited to be able to tell your story. And I know you are too. Because a lot of people don't realize that Kopi's just not doing your weather, not showing up to your school. And uh, I hear, not children, but people that maybe are in their 30s, yeah. hey, you went to my school. Yeah. And, talk. and yeah. a lot of times you remember that conversation. Yeah, it's amazing it's sometimes how guy. some come back. But come now back. I'm just on seven to nine every morning yeah. and having a blast, having a blast. Well, as a, as a viewer, and uh, my kids watched you for years and they talk about you coming to the school, I know you have people that say stuff about it all the time too. All the time. Uh, yeah. You don't just come and do your job, you live your job. Yeah. And I think you love your community. I, I know do. you do. This is home. Yeah, home. The same jacket he started with in 1971, right? right that Cam PH Fox 26. It looks like it's brand new, bought right here in Visalia. You know, I could sell this it for a few bucks. It. Yeah, 20, just for a few 26, bucks. 26, 27 bucks. 26. <laughs> 26 dollars. Right. 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 Yeah, I like your return bitter. there. Very good. First bitter. So uh, I just appreciate you being on the show. Well, thank Vasily, you. Vasily, we're going to have you on the show next week. Looking forward to it. And they'll be able to, to catch it here right here on Fox 26. That's all the time we have for business leaders every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Have a great day. <laughs>